Uh, Kevin blackmailed Kanye by threatening to tell everyone about how he buys collectible llama dolls off The Sims shopping network. Well then, I thought it was fingers in the butt. What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and in this week's episode we really need to make some money because the family is poor as dirt. Last episode that dick well took every single simoleon we have. We have nothing left. We can't even pay the bills. We don't have any electricity. They cut off our power. So Fortunately, we have quite a talented yeah. family. We have a lot of money-making potential, so I think we're gonna be able to get by. I think this is gonna be a really entertaining episode, and it's all gonna start with not wasting any more time because Kevin and Tommy did get a little something from the well. So I think we're gonna have to go pay a visit to the Bieber residence. Uh, what? Bieber doesn't even live in his house anymore. Where the hell is he? He, that, that's his house, and I moved Kanye in with him, like, like, 20 episodes ago, but he's not living, th oh my god. Did I seriously break the game? When we froze Justin on the alien planet and left him there, he didn't actually come back. He's actually still up there. Like, I just assumed he would come back with everybody else, but he's actually stuck up there. Well then, that, that's unexpected. Maybe we can call him. Okay, let's try that. I'm gonna- we're gonna go visit Kanye and hope that we can call Justin. Nope, we can't call him because he doesn't exist anymore. Kevin does not know a Justin Bieber. Are you kidding me right now? Like, look at this. There should be one giant red bar for Justin. We have Will Smith. We have, um, Elsa Bjornsson. Some reason Kevin has a, a tiff with that little kid. We have a couple of women. We have Eric Lewis and Elaine Denton. No, Justin Bieber. He's he's actually gone. I might have to fix that in between episodes, but uh, okay. Well then, <laughs> this, this episode's already gone out the window. Let's uh, let's see if Kanye's home. You know what? We can make an enemy of him, I guess. That'll work fine. Technically, Kevin can blackmail somebody, and Tommy can blackmail somebody. So we'll have to think of somebody else to blackmail as we talk to Kanye. Hello, Kanye. A well told me some juicy stuff on you, man. It uh, told me that you like fingers in the butt. You know what? Wells never lie. So can we? How? How am I gonna introduce myself first? Really? I can't just can't just blackmail him. Look, man, I know you're really busy barbecuing steaks in your living room, and you're the voice of a generation. I, I wouldn't screw with you, but I know some stuff, so we're gonna have to blackmail you real quick. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Oh, he's not happy. Whoa, okay, man, I just I just need the money, man. I just need that money, get my family by, I got big plans. 22, 2, 2, 2, we got a lot of money, okay. Kanye and Kevin now despise each other. Uh, Kevin blackmailed Kanye by threatening to tell everyone about how he buys collectible llama dolls off The Sims shopping network. Well then, I thought it was fingers in the butt. Okay, uh, who else are we gonna blackmail? This is perfect! Look, we found Rick Denton on the side of the road. That stupid little kid that picked a fight with Barbie and wouldn't let me uh, bake naked in peace. Can we blackmail you? Uh, mean blackmail! Kid, you better be from a rich family, because I'm gonna need that money. No, don't don't get mad at me. I'm I'm like 200 pounds heavier than you. You're gonna give me all your money, all your lunch money, or I'm gonna swirl you. I'm gonna tell you Kanye's secret. 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 He had more money than Kanye! What? $3,223. Tom blackmailed Rick by threatening to tell everyone about him, buy collectibles, llama doll stuff, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we have 5,000 simoleons to move forward. Can we blackmail somebody else? Mean, no. You can only blackmail one person. Okay, that's fine. It's probably best that Tommy doesn't make enemies of every kid in the neighborhood. But now we have 5,000 simoleons to try to get this off the ground. Now, I, I have a bit of a plan for starting this episode, but we're gonna need to buy some land to do it on. And before I continue, I should mention that I know you can cheat in this game. I know I can type in Motherload and get 50,000 simoleons and then our problems will be solved, but that just completely defeats the purpose. I mean, then I wouldn't get to make an episode about this kind of stuff, so I don't want to do that. I transferred all of our money over into our new um, business. It's going to be more of a market, really. <laughs> and I took a little tiny bit of money from Apple's Pie as well. I don't want to sell Apple's Pie because I want to convert it over into a restaurant when the Dine Out pack comes out, which is in a couple 
couple of weeks, I think, relatively soon. But fortunately for us, we have quite a talented group of Sims. Like I said, Kevin can paint, Emma can write. She's actually at work now, so she's actually gonna make money for us anyway. Uh, Barbie is surprisingly very good at video games. Who would have guessed? Uh, yeah, video gaming, six. So I think she can actually enter like professional tournaments. I don't know, all she's been doing is playing Blickbok on her phone, but if she can play competitive tournaments and win gaming, then all, all the power to her. Um, Apple is a good, what was Apple again? Oh, Apple's a, a good musician, a violinist, so we are gonna get her to get tips playing violin. Tommy is a good programmer, right. Programming level nine, so I think he can actually like hack databases and stuff and steal money a little bit sketchy Especially since his mom is a cop, but you know what we need to get by so everybody's gonna have their their purpose uh, Evie Evie is really charismatic So she is gonna be ringing people up selling all of the books and all of the paintings and stuff like that but for that to work We need to build a store there we go, it's coming together. Like I said, not gonna be as much of a store as it's going to be a money-making machine. We have a brick wall for Kevin to sell his paintings. We have a little place for Emma to sell her books. We have an easel for Kevin to paint on. Uh, Evie is gonna man the cash register. And then we have Apple who can uh, play her violin here. Now the main issue is we need to have enough money left over for computers because we need to write and stuff like that. And we need money left over for um, actually like making the books and the paintings and stuff like that. So what's a cheap, ooh. Oh no, how low can you go? Desk block computer, I don't want the worst. Okay, we'll get, we'll get two of these. Oh no, we're short money. I wanted to get two, one for gaming. Actually, you know what, Tommy can make do. He is gonna hack on, uh, on pretty much nothing at all because you know, you need the best, the best computer ever for gaming. That's gonna be Barbie's. And what else do we need? We have $577 left. That might be all we can spend because we need to we need to buy the canvases and stuff for painting, right? Actually, Emma's gonna come home from work. She's gonna bring a little bit more money with her. So we should be okay. Okay, we need to name our store. This place is gonna be called Sauces Stuff. I like it. And I think that's it. I think we're good. I think we can do a markup though. So Evie, you're gonna be manning the cash register. Set, set store prices. Markup of 100%. Is that as high as it goes? Can we go any higher? 100%. We're gonna be exorbitant. <laughs> we want this to be as good as possible. And we're not gonna hire any employees. Screw that. Okay, Tommy, you can try to make some money right now. We are gonna get you to program. You're gonna, oh, you can do freelance work. Hey, Goku. You can make a virus, make, make a video game. You can design your own video game, Tommy? That is awesome. You're gonna build it on like this 1980s piece of garbage? I am impressed. And um, Kevin, you are gonna paint. Kevin can't afford to paint. Really, we don't have enough money to even make a painting. Kevin does not have enough simoleons. Oh, we have zero. Oh, we need the, we don't need it in the business. We need it on Kevin? Damn it, okay, let's tra transfer some funds. There we go, now we can do it. So Kevin, you are gonna paint a surrealism painting. Um, a large one, we need to re take up some space. And we can get, uh, Barbie, you might be able to enter a tournament now because we actually have money on you. I'm learning things now. Uh, Candy Bear is wondering if we can come over to her house and hang out. No can do, we gotta make money, we gotta make a living here. Um, play a game, enter tournament, enter professional tournament. Oh, we gotta go pro. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh, my Sims Go, Incredible Sports, Blick Blick Block. It's all she does. Apple might not be making any tips yet, but at least she's very inspiring to Kevin. Yeah, you can tell that he's really enjoying this. His first painting came out pretty well. This is worth uh, $411. We should be able to sell that for 800 and something, right? We have 100% markup. Hopefully this is gonna work. I have no idea. Hey, 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 what are, where are you going? Goku, what the hell's wrong with you? Did you hear that? You, she's not doing it for free. If your ears heard it, you better pay up. This is looking pretty good. I think it's a tree. I don't know if he's drawing by reference. I told him to draw a realism painting. Congratulations, Kevin just finished painting a masterpiece. 2,500 simoleons, are you kidding me? Kevin, you are the man. This is why you're the leader of the household. We're gonna put this one right behind Evie so that one doesn't get stolen and we're going to set for sale. And you know what, I think we're gonna open the store. Ooh, it's Allison. She, she came by quick. 
If, you, if you're coming by to pick up Tommy or Barbie, you know what? I'm gonna deal with that later. I will get to it. I will get to that relationship at some point. But right now, the pressing matter was our empty bank account. So she seems to be looking at the masterpiece. I mean, one of you gotta buy it soon, right? Okay, let's have uh, Evie be charismatic, do stuff, greet customer, and, and greet her. Whoa, why is Barbie sad? Barbecue is a literal loser, at least at the latest game tournament. No, Barbie! <laughs> you tried your best! Don't worry, the family will get out of this somehow. She's here aggressively practicing her Blick Block for the next tournament. Okay, I have an idea. This might be a little bit out of hand, but hopefully it's gonna work. So, she's not gonna know anything. Actually, we're not even gonna shoot directly at her. We're gonna shoot near her. We have mind-washed her into wanting to wear her sleepwear. So she's gonna change into sleepwear. Mm. Kevin, you're you're diabolical. Okay, so now we're gonna start a conversation with her. We're gonna greet her and have a bit of a conversation. And we're gonna bring her over here and we're gonna paint her in her sleepwear and then sell it. Okay, we're gonna do a large painting from reference. And this should work. I think it worked. I, th I think we got it. Yeah, there we go. That's a keeper right there. All right. So we're gonna sell this one for lots of money. Paint, paint that, Kevin. Can you do that? I, do we do we need a flash? Are we flash flashing our painting? I don't understand. Evie, are you gonna sell anything? Why is this not working? People just don't seem interested in buying things. How's your video game going, Tommy? He is about a third of the way done. Hey, I heard you became enemies with Rick Denton. That guy is a jerk. Thanks, Emily Stone. I appreciate that. Oh, Emma's off work. Perfect. So we are gonna bring Emma Yager here. Oh, Emma, I know it's been a rough day and you are looking ripped as ever, but we need you to break out your old writing skills and uh, and write us a book. Can you do that? We need more things to sell, right? Write a genre book? Yes, write a... Um, write a short story. I think that'll go well. We'll start off small. So we are going to name this book The Life and Times of Fart Smello. I don't know why I love that name. I should mention as well to the people who watch The Sims and only check in on the channel on Sunday, I started a new series involving another life simulation game. My character's name is Fart Smello. It's called YouTuber's Life. I figure I should probably mention it here because I'm sure there's lots of people that would enjoy it, but don't really try other video games normally. It, it's cool. It's like The Sims, but you're a YouTuber. So this is going to be about my character, Fart Smello, and uh, how would you like to describe this book? Um, Brienne is a two-timing hussy. Gotta keep it simple. All right, Apple, I think it's time to play something a little bit happier. You're making me a little bit sad. Can we can we do some rock and roll? Uh, let's do some uh, too far to turn. That'll, that'll get people to turn, pay money to us, right? That, that's about the same. Okay, you know what, screw it. That, that should go fine. Hey, Kevin, that's coming along really well. I like that you started with the tits. Hey, that looks pretty good. I like that you really captured Apple's sadness in the background. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put that one here. I love that she's still here. We can um, set that for sale. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Why does, why does Emma have a slightly romantic relationship with Allison? <laughs> I think Allison's been getting around. I feel like she got to Emma at one point or another. Okay, either way, Kevin, how about you start greasing the wheels? How about you stop painting for a little bit and start doing some real- Look at that, Apple got some money! Way to go, Apple, you actually got us a tip! Oh no, and now, uh, now Emma's hungry. Okay, no, we'll, we'll get food soon. We'll order a pizza or something. I'm actually amazed we haven't seen more of our CC neighbors yet. I mean, like, they're, they're coming down the road. Vegeta down here just wandering around, but he's not a customer. What great choice, what great value, I'm ready to buy something. Ah, ah, Evie. Ring her up. Who, what is she buying? She's taking a selfie. Ring up customer. She's getting the surrealism painting. It's gonna be like a thousand bucks. That's pretty good. There we go. We got it. Yuki just purchased a large painting for $822. All right, Kevin, you are a published artist or um, I don't know what that would be. You're an artist, you're, you're a legal artist. So we are gonna restock that for 411 because that did well. And, uh, and a new customer comes in. Hey, Eric Lewis, we, we don't seem to like you. It turns out the other competitors in this tournament were better than barbecue, no prizes this time. Barbie! Okay, I know you, I said that it's not a big deal, but it's costing us money for you to enter these tournaments and a lot of time, so could you, like, suck a little bit less? 
Oh, here it is. Okay, The Life and Times of Farts Mellow. It's an excellent quality book. I think we should probably... We should probably sell it, right? Yeah, I don't think... I think if we sell it here, it's gonna take way too long. I think if we publish it, that would be better. So we need to buy a mailbox. Even more money wasted. How much does a mailbox cost? Mailbox, mailbox, mailbox. Uh, give me the cheapest one. Oh, they're free! Sweet! My kind of money. Okay, we're gonna put the mailbox over here out of the way, and then we are going to publish it. Sell the publisher? I think self-publishing does more. Okay, we are gonna sell it. Oh, Emma, you're back to writing! So many people missed this. Congratulations, Emma has self-published a book. She won't make as much money as selling rights to a publisher, but will receive a small amount of royalties daily. Sweet! Okay, now let's get to writing another one, because work's never done. So this is gonna be an inspirational book, and we are gonna name it Just Do It, and it's gonna be a Shia LaBeouf? LaBeouf? I don't know how to spell, uh, inspirational classic. That, that has to do well, right? It's all about the memes. What choice, what value, I'm ready to buy. When you get a chance to ring me up. Are you gonna buy the surrealism one as well? Man, Kevin, your first painting is killing it. All right, let's, I'm happy I restocked that. Let's ring her up. I really wanna sell the masterpiece though, because that'll be worth like 5,000. That's like half of our rent right there. We'd be pretty set. Okay, can you stop chatting, Evie, and go, Go ring her up so that she can go home. <laughs> She's been sitting here, it's the middle of the night, 12.30, she's at a store that's really only a wall in the middle of a lawn, wearing very few clothes, buying paintings. Oh crap, it's, uh, it's Denton's dad. He might not be happy that we blackmailed him earlier. <laughs> Hey, uh, hey, Jeff, do you remember that time when I almost uh, got you stuck in surgery and left you for dead and then we blackmailed your son? Well, right now he's getting ready to buy a very large painting of a very scantily clad woman. So if you could just, you know, go away. Kevin is really greasing the wheels with this kid. He is, he is getting really close to wanting to buy something. Keep going, Kevin. Let's, um, discuss his shopping preferences. What kind of... Crayons do you like to use? Yeah, what choice, what value? I'm ready to buy when you get a chance to ring me up. He's buying the naughty picture. <laughs> I knew it. Oh man, you were, how does he have this much money? I don't understand. Okay, Kevin, you can ring him up because you did all the work. Ring up that customer. So I don't really know what I want to do, so I'm just going to change this one ever so slightly. Instead of the clockwork carnival, this is going to be the cockwork carnival. This is a fantasy book gone wrong. <laughs> I like the idea of doing that. Just ever so slightly changing what they give me to make it a little bit more personal. That's that's good. That'll go well. So the Dentons are here looking for their kid because he just ran off with a, a semi-nude painting of a woman. And uh, we're, we're not going to tell them anything. You know what? We got his money. We have double his money. We've taken like $5,000 from their family so far. But that's okay. We're just going to greet them as customers and uh, keep greasing the wheels. See if we can get this masterpiece sold before the episode ends. Come on, Barbie, I believe in you. You can do this. Show them that you're more than a Blick Block Master. Oh, oh, Barbecue achieved third place and is nothing to sneeze at, but it does not mean plenty of room, or it does mean plenty of room for improvement. Okay, what did you get? It doesn't doesn't tell you how much money you earned. I missed it. Okay, you know what? It's a, it's a gain, it's a, it's a plus. You add to the community. Good job, Barbie. Cool, Emma leveled up in her writing and now she can submit a book copy to Literacy Digest. <laughs> Submitting a book copy to Literacy Digest will grant a large amount of royalties which are received daily. This interaction can only be performed once a week. Okay, yeah, sure, you can have a cockwork carnival. Oh, and a bunch of people showed up. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, Pac-Man, Sailor, Sailor Jupiter, Smurfs. You guys wanna buy something? We can really, no, you can't sit, you can't sit there. That, that's for work only. Okay, that's sold. That's good. How's Tommy doing? Tommy, how are you, how are you doing? Oh, he's so close to finishing his game. But he really needs to go take a dump. We're gonna go find a, a bush as soon as he finishes this. Come on, Tommy, just a little bit more coding. You're almost there. Oh, no, why did, why did you stop? Did you just stop making a video game? Book royalties? Cool. Uh, Life and Times of Farts Mellow, $67. Just do it, 119. Clock, Cockwork Carnival, 357. Way to go, Emma. Tommy, are you kidding me? You just stopped making your game, like, the last possible second. Too uncomfortable to do this. Okay, let's find you a bush to take a crap in. Okay, Tommy's feeling better. Sailor Jupiter, can you get out of the way? Go, go away. 
Go away. I need to sit there. Okay, thank you. I need to continue making my game, right? Please tell me I can do that. Um, making game program. Continue making game. Yes. Oh, that that bush looks like it stinks. That's gonna drive away the customers. But you know what? This. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Almost got it. We can do it. Pac-Man, what are you all upset about? It's the computer's off, dude. Barbie is not looking well. Oh dear. Barbie, Barbie, you got the swirlies. We might need to call it an episode soon. We've made quite a bit of money. We've made six thousand, seven, eight, nine, or ten thousand, because I can sell all this crap when we leave. So we might already have enough, but at the same time, I still really want to finish this game. Tommy just needs to shake off whatever his problem is. Fun, hunger, energy. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. Just just get her done. Kid, kid, don't start with me. Video game complete. Enter a name for this new video game. That is so cool. I honestly did not know you could make games in this the way you could make books. Okay, what are we going to name our video game? Um, we are going to name it, um, Minesweeper Extreme Edition. Uh, gone. Oh, can't, can't okay, I, I, I gotta come up with something shorter. All right, let's call it... Bear hugging the game. It's all about hugging bears. It's a lot harder than you would think. So we're gonna publish that somehow. I don't know what publishing entitles. Bear hugging the game. Is it is it going live on Steam? Anything? Nothing. Do we need to do something with it? I don't see anything. Whoa, whoa. Okay, look. I know. I know why you're here. But uh, the, none of that. I need to go to sleep. Barbie's dying. Okay, I guess I'm going to figure out next episode what I need to do with the game. Because it doesn't look like we sold it or anything like that. We never sold our masterpiece either. What is it? Actually, you know what? I guess technically we could. Like, if, if we had Kevin uh, set that not for sale. And then we can uh, sell to an art gallery. Yes. Then we're good! I think we're good! Let, let's sell everything here at the store and see how much we ended with. Because everybody is dirty and, and peeing themselves. I think it's time to call it a day. So with everything said and done, our store made $11,000, but we also have $8,500 in the household fund. So I guess that's from tips, from selling books, from selling paintings, that kind of stuff. So if we transfer everything over to the house, then we have a grand total of... We see here, almost $20,000! That was great! We actually did really well, guys! Oh god, we're all dirty and peeing ourselves and sick and falling asleep. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna torture you guys anymore. Let's go home. All right, the bills are paid. Now, please tell me we have power. Please, 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 please turn on all lights. Yes, we have electricity. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. And you'll have to let me know what you think of it, because it was very different to what I would normally do. You know, I normally focus on storytelling rather than, like, accomplishing something. But I really wanted to challenge myself for an episode. I wanted to see if I could do what a lot of other simmers have to do all the time in earn money to live comfortably. But moving forward, we are gonna return to that kind of storytelling stuff. We will return to Patrick and his swinger wife. We will return to the Dine Out Pack when it comes out, where we can open a restaurant and actually go on dates and eat stuff rather than awkwardly sit next to each other and get bothered by everybody. A lot of interesting stuff to come for the life of Kevin. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Should I publish that one? I feel like I feel like that's not gonna go well. Maybe maybe we'll bin that one. Sometimes it happens. You know what? Sometimes it's late at night, you record a video, you're just not feeling it. We're gonna retire that video. Why is there a chef in my house? Um, excuse me. Hi, Fartsmello. I want to make a video of me playing a game.